we just found out more information about the demo that's coming out next month it is going to be limited ronnie 2k was on a live stream with shakedown 2012 and he said that in the demo yes you can try it multiple times multiple positions and configurations but it is indeed going to be limited so it's not infinite you can't just play the demo forever there's going to be a certain amount of times that you get to play it and change your configuration and make your tweaks so he didn't say exactly how many times but there is going to be a cutoff point and then ronnie 2k was also talking about configurations hinting that archetypes are going to be gone ronnie 2k is saying that this year the focus is on going back to basketball and he said that we've had trouble in the past with making certain players it's not possible to make them with all of the restrictions with the archetype system so he's saying it's not going to be as restrictive you know, he's hinting archetypes are gone and they figured out a better way to do it shakedown 2012 he did a great job of asking questions and ronnie giving us a little bit of information so we don't know exactly how it's going to work but it does indeed sound like there's not going to be that archetype system in the game ronnie also talked a little bit about the road to 99 he didn't say if it's coming back or not but he did say that they're looking for a way to separate the boys from the men he's saying how do you separate the guys that have played 1000 hours from the guys that have played 100 hours and he was asking shakedown if you're going to grind for something in the game what should you have to grind for he's asking for feedback but he's basically giving us the thinking of 2k and this is why we've had the road to 99 the last few years because they believe in their eyes that's how you separate the people that have played a thousand hours from 100 hours so this is actually a very interesting quote coming from ronnie on his live stream so let me know what you think about that in the comment section and see if you can answer the question that he gave to shakedown 2012 what is it that you want to grind for in the game if you could do it if you were the developers how would you separate the players that have played the game the most from everybody else and when you're grinding your player to get better what exactly are you grinding for what do you want to grind for what is your goal and how do you want your player online to compare with everybody else that you play against shakedown also asked ronnie about what are they going to do to prevent people from not playing people because they see their records online and ronnie just kind of laughed and said well we can't do anything about wussies and then shake said well what about matchmaking you just get right into the game in 3v3 and you play ronnie said that they don't want to have to separate the experience of anybody that's playing online so it doesn't sound like there's going to be any type of 3v3 matchmaking going on shakedown being a savage he asked ronnie about park affiliations will there be any new parks and of course ronnie couldn't answer the question he said it's too early to be talking about that but he did say that they're looking to innovate and do things that they have never done before and then he goes on to talk about in the past how before they had the neighborhood no one ever thought about having a neighborhood we were just playing online in park on top of a rooftop and then 2k comes along and changes it completely adds this new park atmosphere new neighborhood atmosphere that was also new in the last few years so he's saying that they have something new that they're going to be doing very interesting so let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section don't pass it here no don't do that i'm gonna be a savage where you at <laughs> simmons was waiting i did him dirty the jazz I had a wide open slam. I waited for glory to rub it in.